Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this really pretty Christmas tree UV resin charm. This is something new to me. Um, I had received these silicone molds from crossfire.com. I picked out this Christmas tree to make and so they wanted me to try them out. They do not sell the, silic the UV resin itself so I had to purchase that on Amazon as well as the little silicone bowl and tools and the UV light. And so I'll have the links for everything down below. And I wanted to show you how to make this because I just love how it turned out. So what I did first was I used my UV resin. This is from Amazon and I think it, it works great. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill my mold and what you, with the UV resin, you do not want to touch it until after it's cured. So I'm going to fill the bottom of just with the clear part for now. And I'm going to take this and just kind of make sure there aren't any bubbles and make sure it's all goes all the way to the edges of the mold. Kind of shake it. If you need to add a little bit more to make sure it, I just, I want it to be a thin layer because this is just the bottom layer of the tree. And I'm going to be adding in some elements. Hope you can see that. All right. I have a paper towel here just to lay. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put some of my little round sequins in there, kind of sprinkle them in. And if I need to use tweezers, I'll do that to place some around. I'm sticking to the actual tree part, this bottom part. I'm going to leave that because I'm going to add some gold flaking at the top for the star. Let's see here. Just want a little bit down here. Just trying to put them, fill up the spots here. I think that's good. And now I'm going to add in the gold flake for the star up there. Sprinkle it in. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried the UV resin. I, I, the UV resin, I think I like it because it's quicker than the normal two-part resin because you're using the UV light, obviously. And I was fine buying the UV light, which actually was pretty affordable with the kit because I like gel nails and I tend to do that a lot more at home since COVID and this is actually a nail UV light when it comes. It comes with the UV resin supplies, but 
it does say on the package of the light that it is for, it says a UV nail lamp right on it. Okay, so I think I want a few more of these over in this corner here. If I can get them to lay there. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to put this into or under the UV lamp. Move this over here. So pull this over. And what the things that I've read is that you want to start your UV resin light approximately 12 inches away and then slowly move it down. And so I'm going to put it on the base of this. You can take the top off, which is nice. So I'm going to put this right on there and then I'm just going to hold it up and press the 60 seconds. There's several, there's three, I'll show you here, 10, 30, 60, and 99 seconds. So I'm going to press the 60 and just start it. Let it go for about 30 seconds and then I'll slowly put it down to where it's right on top as you know the so it's resting on the base of the lamp and then when I when I set it down on the base I'm going to go ahead and mix my UV resin with the green glitter because that's the second layer that we're putting on the top of this All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it down. When this is done, I'm going to hit it again, and then I'm going to then I'm going to turn it over and hit the back of it before I move on with the colored green part. So let me scooch that over. All right, now I'm going to let's hit that again. Now I'm going to mix some green. I think that should be enough. There, I haven't really figured out how you measure exactly how much you need. I just kind of, it's just kind of a trial and error sort of thing. So I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to use this little one. There's kind of like a little scoop on the end of this one. So I'm going to scoop some of the green in there. It's probably like an eighth of a teaspoon maybe. I think that's good. Let's stir it first then we'll see. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir it up. While I'm stirring, I'm going to turn over. I'm going to take this and turn it over like that and stick it back in and hit the 60 seconds. So I just want to stir, mix, make sure you have it all mixed. Now I've watched other UV resin videos and they do say before you stick it into your UV resin lamp that you should take a heat gun and heat the top to pull out any other air bubbles. I haven't tried that yet. I do have a U I do have a heat gun, but it didn't I I'm sure that it it would help but I just didn't do it before and it seemed to be okay for what I was doing. All right, I think this is stirred pretty good. All right, so let's pull this out and see how this is doing. I 
wonder if it, oh, you know what? I didn't get it all the way to the edge, so I'm going to add in some more UV resin. So I'm still, this is still a learning process for me. So there isn't any right here, so it must have shifted. So I'm just going to put some in there. I'm going to put a little bit more up at the top and then we'll go go back into the lamp. Okay, I'm going to come back when I have this set up for the first layer. All right, so that's set up pretty nicely. So the next thing I'm going to do is pour in my green glitter resin on top of it. Except don't go to, don't go over the star part because that's, you want, the, you want it to stop there. don't quite need all of that. So I'm going to use this. It does kind of move around, so it kind of spreads out. And it looks like I have it all spread out to where I want it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing and start at 60 seconds. Hold it up for 30 and then I'll put it down over the top. All right, I'm going to go down there, let it sit there. The bottom is completely cured, so I don't need to turn it over this time. I'll just hit my 60 seconds again and let it um, bake a little bit more. And then I'll be back and I'll show you how you can make it into a charm. I have these little screw eyes. They're super tiny. And we'll just be hand drilling a little hole in the top of the cabochon that we made or the tree whatever you want to call it it's not a charm yet and yeah okay so I'll go ahead and hit this again and I'll be back in a sec all right that has baked I'm just gonna check it here yeah it's, it's good okay so I'm gonna take it out of the mold So that turned out really pretty. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Okay, so now oops, while it's still fresh out of the mold, I'm going to I have this little hand drill and they actually make kits they have them at Joann's for in the UV resin area and if you don't know where the UV resin area is it's in like the jewelry making section so but this one is one that my husband has for his he modifies figures and things like that um, I did ask for a set for myself for Christmas but this is what he had but it has it's like a little it's a drill but you it's like a screwdriver drill thing. So there's a little drill bit on here, super tiny. And I'm just going to drill a hole in the top of this part. And then I will screw in one of the little screw eyes there.
and it's important to do this soon after you pull it out from the resin UV resin light so that it's still a tiny bit soft so you can actually get the hole to go in there or the drill bit I should say and you just need to get a hole started and then you can use the eye to go in further. So I've got a hole started in there and I get the screw eye. If you don't want to do this, then if you can find like flat back hole things that you, you could you can use the UV resin and just kind of glue onto the back of on the flat part of your piece then that would work as well and that's what I've done before like using E6000 but I think that you could use the the resin in this case to glue it to the back This is kind of a small area, so it could be kind of finicky. You gotta kind of have to hold it. It's gonna come out sometimes like that. So I'm hoping you can see that. You just have to hold it steady and screw it tight in there. And this keeps loosening up. I keep moving it. <laughs> Alright, where'd it go? One other one out. That one just flew. Alright. When I get it in as far as I can, then I will put a little bit, ah, keep turning it. So that's what you don't want to do. So this is a little finicky of a, you just have to be patient. I have to have patience. Patience. Okay, I'm going to get this and I'll be right back. All right, I finally got that in. I realized that I needed to drill the hole a little bit deeper because I wasn't, it wasn't deep enough to catch this when I was twisting it. So I finally got it in, but what I wanna do now to make sure that stays nice is just add a dab of UV resin up at the top there and rebake it. And that's what I did with this one so that I make sure that it doesn't it, I mean, it's pretty tight in there anyways, but just to be doubly sure. So, I'm just gonna lay it on the silicone here, just so it doesn't, I don't, I don't think it would ruin that, but I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna just put a tiny bit on there. can't even see it. There we go. Got it on there and I'll just go ahead and bake that. Do the 60 seconds. Oops. I'm just impressed on how fast you can make these charms. Um, this is starting to set up on its own. So like the UV resin, it works with or without the UV lamp. It just takes longer otherwise. You can stick it out in the sun or just even in here in the house overnight this would cure. But 
It's made so that the UV resin will cure under the UV lamp, obviously. Because see, this is already starting to solidify in here. And the way to get this out of the bowl is to bake it and then it becomes solid and then you can take it off. But I do need to get it off this because it will stay, you know, I'd have to scrub it off of this. So anyway, okay, so this is nice. So there it is all ready for me to put on my charm or whatever it is. I could add the kit that I got came with pin backs as well. So I could make these into a pin. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Or they could be like a large earring, but so that kind of a pin. So I could use resin on this and apply it to the back and make it into a pin. So yeah. Another, I can show you another charm that I made and I showed it in a different video or the first video that I made my charms and I had made these two. So I made this charm dangle. It's a deer and then I just added some beads that I had and then I made this charm dangle with two different size snowflakes. Yeah, so that's, it's super fun, love it. Okay, so hopefully you like this too, and maybe let me know down below if you have tried the UV resin, making charms and things like that. Um, just let me know what you've made and see, you know, if you have any tips for me, of course this is like, I'm new with this. These were my first things that I made and they were an experiment anyway. So if you have any tips for me, put them down below. And also if you've done it and what things you've made with yours. So hopefully this has inspired you. I'll put the links down below for everything that I used. And yeah, hopefully you're having a great Christmas season, holiday season. And Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.